Oh. Oh, I wasn't actually supposed to get a bite. Oh. Oh. Dude. What's going on y'all welcome back to the channel today we're breaking out the new shimano slx bfs reel the bait finesse system i'm getting a lot of questions lately on what is the lightest bait you can throw on these things and we're going to put it to the test today we're going to fish some of the lightest stuff i got in my tackle box it is the brand new crappie baits from guggen squat and guggen baits so join me and ryan rigged as we get things kicked off here i got to grab the rod and we're going to go ahead and try and catch some crappie some uh, bluegill some bass whatever hits right here in the urban environment let's have some fun all right y'all beautiful day golf course over yonder little pond right here and check that out if this isn't like the sweetest box of tackle you've ever seen look at all this stuff oh my goodness we got quarter ounce that's these big guys right here right we got some with the blade some without a blade this is a 16th ounce right here here's a quarter ounce without a blade We've got all kinds of different shapes and size baits here. This is like a mini dart. We got like almost a mini bandito bug without the side claws. We got like a mini saucy swimmer. So much juice in here. Different colors of everything. The crappie are going to go nuts for this, but I think we're going to probably catch some different pan fish and bass out here today just based on the area I'm fishing. But who knows? We could get anything on the hook, really. Here's one of those 16 ounce without a blade. That's what I'm going to be starting with. I just got a little shad presentation right here. This thing's probably going to get munched by just about anything in these ponds or lakes we hit today. I'm pretty sure we got eight pound monofilament on this guy. This is kind of like Devin's new SLX BFS reel. We got this for her after I was throwing the Corrado BFS. Y'all had so many good things to say about that reel. You love the clicking drag. So when you're fighting a fish, you got that sound almost like you're throwing spinning gear. It's an awesome way to throw lighter finesse tackle as an alternative to your spinning setup. And I've just got it on a twitch rod. It's been working fantastically for me. It's just kind of like the uh, softest casting reel you can get from Guggen. And so that's what I've been throwing. This is the XG, so the extra high gear ratio. Really crank those things up to the boat or get them on the bank real quick. So full gear breakdown before we hit the water. How about that? Check this out. Starting off in a sweet little spot. Oh. Wow, I just had a fish. I'm over here on my phone. I cast it right into the current and just kind of let it sit and drift out and something bit it. I don't know what it was. Probably, oh, oh, I had another bite. You got to get like in there, dude. That was some fast hits. I can guarantee you they're just waiting on bugs coming in from that current and they're going to smash them. There he is. There he is. Oh, I had him on the hook. You can't really set the hook. This is a super light gear, y'all. These hooks are sharp. You just got to kind of lean into it. But these guys, I can tell they're just kind of eating the tail. They're not really getting all the way to the hook. It's probably just really small bluegill. This isn't a this isn't a crappie, I don't think. This is gonna be just probably smaller panfish. Got some hits. Is he on? Let's set it. Nope. Dude, more bites. Okay, look, these are small. They're too small. Oh, we're gonna head right over here. There's some there's some bigger water. Got a fish. Got a fish first cast over here. It's actually, a, I think it's a bass, y'all. Dudes, we got the first fish on. There's that clicking drag, you hear that? A nice little bass right there in the current. I mean, that was like so predictably easy. This is the thing, y'all. If you're having a tough time getting bites, you can always downsize with a bait like this and skip a Ned rig, skip the little things. Just for some bass in the city, have a good time. Grab you a little fishing rod and get some Dugan Squad crappie baits. Now, I gotta be very careful because this line is very light. If I get a big fish, I don't know how I'm gonna get it. I can't even reach down that far to grab these things, so I could be in trouble, but wow, that did not take long at all. We skipped out on whatever little bluegill or little fish were biting this thing over at the last spot, and check us out, first cast. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, I'm satisfied. Let's try that again. So much confidence in like a, a shad color like this too. Just a nice all white type of color. I mean, what little minnow doesn't look like this, and you know anything that swims in these waters is gonna eat it. It's almost too easy. No way. Okay, I had to try that. You know there could be a fish in there. What's behind door number two? Dude, look at this place. I freaking take it. Look, I mean, casting a 16th ounce backhanded like that, not even tripping, no bird's nest. That is uh, a perk of these BFS reels. They're literally made for throwing the lightest baits out there. If you can get away with throwing 1 16th without a problem at all and casting super far distances, you're in good shape. Fish the cover, they said. 
Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, I wasn't actually supposed to get a bite. Oh. Oh. Dude. That, that's like a good bass. That's like a good... That's a good... <gasps> it's a good bass! Oh my gosh. On the crappie baits. That's a good bass. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude. I wasn't supposed to actually get a bite. I was just saying fish the cover. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, this line's so light. Look, if I can walk it all the way over there, I think I can get low enough to actually land this fish. Y'all, did that just happen? Oh my gosh, here's come some golfers. I can't piss people off. Okay, I gotta let a little line out because I gotta run over here. I don't want this thing to get frayed up against the concrete. It's right under us, but I can't reach him from here. There's no way I'm gonna catch this thing. Oh my gosh, he's running. He's trying to fight. He's trying to stay along the wall. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, ah, ah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. How did we miss that? It had to have been hooked so good. No, man. No. I feel like with every jump and head shake, it was just kind of opening up that hole where the hook was, right? You know, it was probably hooked really good. And then as it's shaking, maybe getting a little bit bigger of an opening and just enough to let that barb get back through. And we missed that fish. I could have been four pounds. I honestly did not get a good look at it. Would have been the biggest fish on the crappie baits ever, guaranteed. And on the BFS reel for sure. I just lost a giant. I'm gonna take you to the magic bridge, okay? It's got potential fives right here, dude. The first little bit of cover I hit, hooked up on this little thing. Look at this. I'm ready for that. You got it! I'm ready. He's got it! You're fishing like a crappie spinner deal? Yeah. Yeah. What on earth? I've been calendar man. Oh my gosh, we came wild. prepared. Don't even worry about walking any further. It's all you. Okay. That right there, I hit the right side. You go to the left. They're already busting dude, time. there's there's big fish right here. Get oh, get you goodness. some. This Let is me only like six pound line. Get you some. Dude, this is six pound line. I walked it all the way down. I was about to land it, dude. I was by that tree. I'm not joking. Yeah, just dude, I think it was just sitting down there. Like I might have popped it a few times. He was right off of that concrete whatever you call it he was right off the island mine he was just an island bass just trying to eat it don't let the fans down ryan come on you got a spinner on there right, i'm gonna get in there with you right oh, oh, oh i'm on i'm on i'm on i'm on i'm on he's not big dude you think i can make it happen he's not that big <gasps> oh my god dangerous it's dangerous it's dangerous guys the golfers are looking at y'all the golfers are like eyeballing us right now like what are they doing size all right, y'all, drove across town. Here we are at spot number two. Let's try and get on them. We left the course. Ladies weren't happy with us. First cast out here. Wow, they like dye this water blue, don't they? Tell you what, let's see what else we got in this tackle box. Maybe like the underspin or something. The black would go good. I've only got a quarter ounce though. Ooh, look at that. There we go, y'all. Check that out. Underspin sauce. That thing looks killer. Well, me and Ryan have both circled this place pretty much with the moving bait, so something that's kind of actively swimming, and the bass don't seem to want to chase it today, and that's fine because we have other options. I'm going to throw out this little wormy grub type of deal, completely different color scheme, work this slowly along the bottom, let that tail just kick as it sits there, and I'm going to see if I can pick a couple fish off with this guy right here. This is going to be completely different from what we've been tossing today. the grub <laughs> that was like a two to three pounder dude that wasn't like a tiny little bass he smoked the tail on that thing dude i was just swimming it back on in which is weird because they weren't biting the other stuff maybe it's the color could be that pink jig head i don't know i'm not gonna go out and say it just yet but we're gonna know soon enough if we get a couple hits back to back got him i think it's the pink the pink stands out i have another pink head if you want it it stands out more I think that's what it is. The thing is, I was swimming this too. So it's not even the fact that it's uh, the, the bait has changed, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's that head. But whatever Guggen's gonna call this little worm, it's got a nice spiral kick on the way back. Think about a speed worm or something, man. It's just got a nice kick back there. The action looks phenomenal. Steady retrieve that time, just like I had been with the other bait. That was close to the bank too, just like that last one that came off. Come on, Big Bertha. Oh shit that thing gets out there I got like no line left on this spool that was like the whole spool y'all look at how shallow that spool is too microscopic Ooh. whoa you got him oh he came off dang all right y'all we're gonna try something completely off the wall we've been throwing this guy right here but I think maybe just maybe some bright popping color is what's going to get possibly the biggest one of the day now normally this is a little broad of a color spectrum for me especially for bass 
but like I said, we've tried quite a few other options and I'm thinking maybe a bright yellow, the pink, a little bit of pop and pinchers, a little flash from a blade, who knows? I just wanna showcase a lot of these and try something different. So let's go ahead and see if this right here can do some work. We can only wonder, huh? Zero expectations. Sometimes that's the best way to go about it. Oh, oh I, have, I have a fish. Oh, it was just sitting. Got one. It was just sitting. Oh my gosh, I was fixing like a, a slight bird's nest. Wow, he must have just saw that thing right when it landed. Okay, well, we got another fish. And this is on the uh, wacky color scheme. Maybe the key is just cast in the right spot and don't do anything else. <laughs> Oh, fish. No way. Wow. Should I flip them up on the six pound line that's probably frayed? Probably not. <laughs> Thank you, bud. That's on the uh, wacky color that's now caught like pretty much the most fish. Very interesting. Got one. Oh, dude, this one could be good. This one's a little bigger. Not much. Oh, he was actually good. What is going on with me losing these good fish today? Fish, fish, what do we got? Oh my, keep it down. There we go. That was popping it a little bit differently too. Come on up here. Yes, so crazy y'all. Not quite near as big as the last fight, but I don't even mind. These things are doing work y'all, who would have thought? for bass these little crappie baits just absolutely crushing it it's funny you'll hear stories of a lot of people fishing for crappie on brush piles and stuff out on the lakes on their boat just dropping it down and they catch like the lake record bass it's definitely been done before i mean giants hit these little baits right here they're just hanging around the same structure as those crappie probably eating the crappie themselves but if a little meal passes right by their face you know they're going to eat it an excellent way to catch numbers as you're seeing in today's video such an easy way to catch them too i mean i'm just swimming this thing back in because it has this blade so that blade is spinning and it's like a nice little flash it almost looks like multiple fish swimming together. Now, if I was throwing the one without the blade, I'd like a, a bait with a little bit more kick on the back for a swim. This guy right here is excellent for popping along the bottom. And so I've just kind of mismatched the whole deal because of that blade on there. But I just, want, again, wanted to go for the popping color. So I'm digging all these baits right here. This is so sick. I'm going to rig up this one right here, y'all, and hit him with a swimmer to end the evening. All right, man. Well, thanks for I'll see you when I see you. Oh, got one. There we go. Sun sets and we're cranking them on the pink, yeah. Is that the first one? I think that's the first one on this setup. We're really showcasing the whole deal, man. I haven't thrown any of the uh, black jig heads, I don't believe, just the white and the pink. So maybe I should do that. But since I just got this one fish to bite, let's just crank it for another moment or two and see if I might've found them in this region. Okay, so let's just have a quick gander. You can see this is gonna be the biggest presentation we have thrown yet. We're going quarter ounce. We had the 8th ounce tied on. Well, we still do. We're about to untie it. There's the 16th ounce on the left. And here's one of these little mini grub or bandito bug deals compared to this larger size one that we're about to throw out on the quarter ounce. So this is going to be the biggest treat yet. What does that mean? We're soon to find out. Got one. Flipped it right there in the brush by the, by the wall. That's going to be the first one on the quarter ounce. That's the big boy. We will take that all day. We are running out of light, y'all, but it's tough to beat getting out there and catching. What do we get? I mean, we probably had 10 fish by the end of it. Maybe we've caught more than 10 fish right now. I mean, on an evening where we're going into the winter time and you would think the bite is slowing down, these baits are gonna be a hit. Now, when they go on sale, if they're not already, y'all know you can help support the channel by grabbing these suckers at guggensquad.com. And if you use my name, Weston, at checkout, you'll even get a discount on anything you pick up. It doesn't matter if it's apparel, new hat, shirt, jacket, new rods, fishing line, baits, whatever you need. But use code Weston and save a little bit extra. No need to pay full price. Well, that's going to do it, y'all. Sun is setting, and we are about ready to get stuck in some traffic on the way home to put this thing together for you. Let me tell you what, it was a bummer missing those big fish, but you know what these baits are capable of. Wait till we take these things out on the boat and actually start jigging for some crappie and uh, really putting them to their intended use. Today, we just wanted to give you a first glimpse, run out here to some urban ponds and hopefully try and catch something. If you have any questions regarding these baits, drop it down below. I'll try my best to answer as much as possible. I don't know all the specs to be 100% honest as far as what sizes, what colors, uh, what's gonna have a blade, what's not. Basically, I was just given a handful and wanted to make sure I got some test fishing in for y'all over on the channel, mixing up a lot of different sizes and colors. We accomplished that goal and then some. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and suggest where we should fish these things next. Until then, peace out.